Good afternoon and welcome to a very sunny Perkins Garages. If this mid-February sunshine is not getting you in the mood for a staycation, well this vehicle certainly will. So before we begin, if you do enjoy our content, please do like, subscribe and leave us a lovely comment below. So this here is a magnetic grey Ford Tornio Custom Sport featuring the 2 litre Eco Blue engine providing 185 PS of power. That 185 PS of power is then transmitted through a beautiful automatic gearbox. The vehicle is registered on a 2021 registration, so we're going to take Ford warranty with us until May 2024. The vehicle is very low mileage, it's only done 10,500. I'll get the exact number once we're on the dash in a minute, but let me take you around and show you some of the amazing specification these Tornio Custom Sports have to offer. So, like always, we're going to begin at the front of the vehicle. I'm going to get the remote central lock in and I'm just going to unlock the vehicle. So the bit that appears to be flashing in your video, because the frequency in which this is recorded at, is a daytime running lamp. They are complemented beautifully with the by Xenon HID headlights. They're some of the best headlights in the game and they also come with front fog lights as well. There's a lot going on here. We also have front parking sensors and this little kitty is a front facing radar. That's going to be responsible for your pre-collision assist. But once again, once we're inside the vehicle, we'll go through and talk about every bit of driver assistance software this vehicle has to offer. Before we go anywhere, the classic Ford heated screen, auto wipers, auto lights, it's got it all. Down here, 17 inch machine cut alloy wheels fitted with Michelin's as standard. And they, again, if they have 10,000 miles of work, so you've got plenty of life left on those yet we've got some really high quality security locks on this vehicle and before we go anywhere let's talk about a little i don't know if you can get it into focus blind spot assist monitor both in the near side and the offside wing mirrors we have rear privacy glass hello good afternoon and that trails all the way around the rear of the vehicle but before we go any further let's enjoy this beautiful sunshine Let's give you a tour down the bodywork. So going from high to low, you just see this Tornio in all her beauty. There we are. So we've got two sliding doors, one on the offside and one on the near side, whichever is safest to gain entry. Again, rear parking sensors and a really high definition rear camera. So we'll have a look inside the boot in a minute. But we'll just do the exact same treatment on the near side of the vehicle so moving our way down look at that sunshine isn't that glorious on that magnetic gray color one of my favorite colors in the ford range nice and easy to keep clean and it really does glisten in the sunshine near side rear wheel give you a quick view of that going to the near side front wheel once again blind spot assist in both the wing mirrors so that's the body covered and let's talk about the rest of the vehicle so we can unlock the boot we've got a little button just below the camera and that opens up the enormous rear tailgate you know if you were out on your activities maybe with a dog there you are umbrella keep you nice and dry whilst you're doing fun activities i don't know but this country it never rains so you won't need that Anyway, this is the boot space inside the short wheelbase Tornio Custom Sport. That is the main difference between this one and a longer, wheels, longer wheelbase vehicle is the distance you have before the rear seats. So this is easily recognisable as a short, wheels, short wheelbase vehicle. Underneath this little cover here, let me just show you, is the rear air conditioning blower motor. You have individual blower motors for the front and for the rear so you've got nice fresh air conditioning all the way around the cabin the boot also features a 12 volt socket so you can keep things nicely charged up cool boxes power packs i don't know anything you like plug it into there i'd say you can get at least two baby ostriches in here if not i reckon seven suitcases eight suitcases nine suitcases one, two, three, four, five, six. Phillips to the brim. Loads of suitcases and enormous space in the rear. Okay, it's going to bend down and show you a full size spare wheel underneath there. So we have a little nut in there which releases it. So you're always going to be going in the right direction on your uh, 
on your jollies, on your staycation. Okay, so pop that back down and we'll come round. And we'll have a look inside the rear now. So this is a lovely place to be. And I'm going to make it and explain it all to you. Let's talk about seats before we progress any further. These are six individual seats. The end ones are ISO fixing. So that gives you four ISO fixing seats. These are incredible because they are very, very customizable. So you can pull this lever up here and that locks the chair in this upright position like so. Then you have a release point just at the back of the seat and this will take the whole seat out of the vehicle. So I'm not telling you it's a transit van, but if you did need a transit van, take your seats out and that can deal with all of your requirements. So at the moment, excuse me for a second, once I just put this back into place with my elbow, that's how easy it is to do. So at the moment we're in conference. So we've got two lots of three facing each other. If that's gonna cause arguments, not a problem. This row can be rotated, so that seat there becomes the offside seat facing forward. So you rotate the whole lot 180 degrees, so you've got two lines of three seats. So whatever suits you and your requirements better, this is an example. Okay, two USBs down there, two more down here, two at the back of the gear stick, and two more at the front of the vehicle. Eight USBs in total. The custom sports come with some lines built in already, either side. We have rear air conditioning with separate air conditioning controls. And as you can see, that's twinned with a speaker system there also, and different vents all the way around, whether it's vents in the roof or vents in the floor. So it's a very nice place to be at the back of these custom sports. Okay, we'll shut that up. Let's have a look inside the driver's area. Two electric windows, mirror controls, interior locking just next to the door handle. We'll pan the camera around now, we'll have a look under this cover. So I mentioned we've got a spare wheel and we have all the jack and relevant tools to change the wheel if necessary on the side of the road. We have a 10 way, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and with lumber uh, 910. There's the 9 and 10. So I almost forgot about the 9 and 10. So yeah, plenty, plenty you can do with this driver's seat. Get yourself nice and comfortable. We have a retractable armrest either side as well, which can be built up into any position. Both the seats are also heated, so you're gonna be nice and comfortable on those longer journeys. Okay, so I'm gonna jump inside the vehicle. You might hear a bit of distortion on the microphone, so just bear with me a second, please, whilst I just jump in. A second because it's awfully sunny in Costa del Rain today. Okay, so we've got a standard blade key into the barrel, and that's part of your remote central locking. So let's turn the key and start the engine and give us power to the vehicle. Ensure my heated seat is off and the air conditioning is turned down. Okay, thank you very much for your patience there. First, first port of call the vehicle has done 10,631 miles. The left hand side we have a conventional RPM gauge and on the right hand side is speedo. The bottom section there we have a coolant temperature sensor and a fuel gauge along with your park, reverse, neutral, drive and manual function. At the top part there, I do apologise about the sun, I'm trying to position my camera as friendly as I can for everybody. But it's, uh, I think it's the darkest point about there, sorry about that. So we can navigate around using the arrows on the steering wheel between different phone connectivity, media, car settings, we've got chip computers, we've got my view, and this is what I was going to discuss earlier, the driver assistance pack. So the first port called blind spot assist, so featuring in both wing mirrors, two blind spot monitors. So if someone was in your blind spot, it's nice and easy to navigate. So you're not going to pull in or out on a vehicle in your blind spot. So it's a really nice bit of safety feature there. As mentioned earlier, pre-collision assist, so that will lessen the severity or completely avoid impact altogether. So again, a fantastic bit of software to have on board. Traffic sign recognition, so as you go past the speed sign, it's gonna pop up on the dash, so you're always gonna be aware of the road speed. But a lane keeping system, a driver alert, cross traffic alert, eco coach, cruise control, and a speed limiter. 
So your cruise control and your speed limiter are on the left hand side of the steering wheel. Um, you can't see it because you're blinded by the sun. There we are. Uh, apologies, there we go. So you have the adaptive part at the top, so you can adjust your speed to the distance, adjust your distance, beg your pardon, to the air vehicle in front of you. Easy to set your speed, set the limiter. Just below it, we have all your media, so volume down, volume up, and a mute button. I was navigating through the screen on the dash using the arrows, menu, and return button on the right hand side of the steering wheel. We have a voice command, a, a pickup and decline, and a for, uh, previous and next song. This brings me on lovely to discuss the sync module, which is this lovely touch screen just here. And once again, I'm going to try my very best to get us somewhere that you can see what I'm talking about. So this is the home screen of the sync module effectively. It's divided into audio, phone, navigation, mobile apps and settings. For example, let's go into navigation and that's where we are. You wanted to come to Perkins Garages. Let me try and change hands. There we are, a bit better. Once you come to Perkins Garages, you're going to need Charlie, Mike, 776 Sierra Alpha. Click the search, it will do its magic, talk to all the GPSs and uh, navigate your route. So it's nice and easy to program your route, set your favourites and start your navigation. And don't forget, once you click the start on the sync navigation, you're going to have the directions come up, well if you want them to, on the navigation part there on the dashboard. It's a really nice feature to hopefully keep your eyes on the road. Coming out of there with the audio, different sources, AM, FM, DAB and Bluetooth audio. So you can connect your phone via Bluetooth and that way you can pick up and decline calls on the steering wheel. But better that, if you do have an Android or a iPhone, plug your phone in using this USB port here and it will mirror your iPhone onto the screen there. So you can take advantage of all the applications and software on your phone such as uh, navigation, so such as Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, anything like that, all your music, podcasts, audio books. But my favourite feature, it lets you activate your voice assistant. I'm an Apple guy, so you click on that, Siri's going to come up, I can tell Siri to do anything you like really, play Robbie Williams, take me to Tesco's, call home, anything you like. So that's going to be a nice easy way to set your uh, navigation or anything you need to do but obviously keeping your hands off of your phone at all times so that's a little bit about the screen doesn't stop there though i mentioned earlier we've got a rear reversing camera it's going to beep at us because of the park brakes applied okay let me just lower the parking brake so rear reversing camera and we have a proximity sensor to the right hand side so that's your front and your rear parking sensors are also on that screen pop it back into park quickly apply the handbrake so i don't forget down here we have a button with a P on it, that is for your Ford Active Park Assist. So this vehicle will quite literally park itself for you, whether that's a bay park, a parallel park, any type of parking situation, you can use your indicator to dictate what side of the road it is, but once it's found your space, follow the instructions and uh, yeah, put your trust in it because it, it's a very clever system helping you park the vehicle. So that's a, a quick tour around the screen there. Coming down, we have your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls. Um, my shift is in the way again, so I'm just going to drop that out of the way, and I'll let you put on the brake. So fan speed to the left-hand side, temperature to the right-hand side. On and off, we have a rear mist, we have your front mist, different flows of vents, recirculation, air conditioning, heated front screen, and heated seats either side with three individual heat levels. My favourite in the winter is Max A, uh, Max Demist. In the winter, it's Max Air Conditioning. So it's nice and easy to get yourself to the right temperature. I referred to earlier the automatic gearbox, and this is the selector for it. You also have a manual function on the right-hand side of the gear selector. I mentioned about the uh, six USBs in the rear. Another one there, obviously. And underneath this little cubby hole here, it pops up. We have a 12 volt and a USB and under this one here is an ideal place to keep any documents or anything like that maybe you're going to Europe uh, I don't know so it keeps all nice and organized as well before I go most important matter cup holders we have an abundance of cup holders two there adjustable cans bottles McDonald's cups anything you like big bottle holders in the door cards and in front of you there and we yeah we've got tons and tons of cup holders and convenient places to store things in. 
Once again, if you do enjoy this video and enjoy our content, give us a follow, give us a subscribe, give us a like, and drop a nice comment. Any questions, the number you need is 01376 550 899. Thank you and goodbye.